Hello, uh, I'm Warren Pope. I am an engineer and specialise in energy efficiency and reduction in energy. I've recently been looking for a heating system for my daughter who's in London to replace their current heating system. Um, and I've been reviewing uh, all the available equipment uh, that's there, which is uh, boilers, which are around about nine to 10 grand, um, heat pumps, which are about 12 grand, uh, and alternative electric heating systems, such as storage heaters. During my search, I came across the product which from Antony Heat, which is the iSense engineer. And um, from doing all the research that I have, it seemed to be the most efficient product that was suitable. Uh, no pipe work to go in. It's literally a straight plug and play system, which goes in. And it can also be controlled either on each individual radiator or by an app from a smartphone. So it's possible to um, do everything remotely. Um, here is the app, which is there. It comes with a energy assistant, uh, which can help actually optimize the system itself. Um, <clears throat> and generally speaking, it's looking at being about 30-40% cheaper than any alternative electric system that there is. Um, and that's also allowing for the fact that you don't have to pay for extensive uh, pipework insulation as you would do with any wet-based uh, heating system. And it also helps uh, keep the carbon levels down low because it's electricity and it's not using gas. Here we are with the um, in Teleheat iSense radiator. Here I have my uh, template straight out of the box. Uh, I have the brackets again straight out of the box for the patented uh, quick release app on it. And also there is the um, instructions. Everything comes out of the box. Um, this is the iSense radiator, which has just been turned on. Um, everything that controls it is cloud-based, so it's uploaded to the cloud and all the information is stored securely. The instructions are here on page 18 in the manual that actually comes with the radiator, where you select your choice of language, your Wi-Fi connection, and uh, all the other bits. Here is the MySense uh, app, which can be downloaded to the smartphone. Uh, and then it's just a matter of creating a account with that one. And then as you can see on the display here on the radiator that we've just turned on, it's in the process of um, connecting to the Wi-Fi to then download the latest software, uh, which will control the radiator. So we need to make sure that we get the correct postcode in because depending on where you are geographically in the, the country will depend on as to how warm or cold you're going to get. So Brighton will be warmer than the Midlands and again Glasgow is going to be colder uh, than Midlands and Brighton. So it's important to make sure that you get the an accurate postcode put in on the app to make sure that the device can actually identify uh, what the temperature settings have been through the year. Please make sure that the uh, pre-requirements are actually turned on um, as I've had issues with them myself, it's quite uh, common for the phone to turn the Wi-Fi off. So make sure that the Wi-Fi is connected. And then we can click the Start button. Make sure you use the LCD display, which is touch screen. Use the arrows to move in the direction you want. You need to be certain to select the right profile for the sort of building or office that you have. Uh, because that will then pick information up off of the cloud to then define on how best to use your accommodation or your radiator within your accommodation. So um, here we have the choice of room type uh, to which we've got it as the living room and it's on to the next button to move to the next stage. Um, so we're going to call the device living room keep it nice and simple um, here we are ready to pick the Wi-Fi setting so I've selected the house Wi-Fi and again the next button 
And then the now I'm going to enter the uh, password to the Wi-Fi. And then now the device is pairing. And now we're connected. Now, um, once done and connected, um, if you view the LCD screen, at the moment it, the device is still connecting to the smartphone, so you just need to leave it on and let it connect uh, properly and thoroughly. Then we click on OK. And then we can set the year. Yeah. So we set the comfort uh, temperature for 20 degrees. What we're now going to do is do the background setting. Um, so what we're going to do is put it to 12 degrees uh, as the background. Um, so then when no one's in the, the room, uh, the radiator will heat up to 12 degrees. But then when it senses someone come in, it will then start ramping up to um, the 21 degrees. Now we're finished setting up the radiator. So it works. So we just follow the arrow keys. Um, so we're going to go over the auto program. And... Enable occupancy detection, so yes, we want to do that. Um, open window or door, so yes, again. Um, and then we've got all the selected settings that are there, uh, which are all automated, and will ensure that the radiator uh, minimizes the amount of energy that it uses. And then we click the OK button. Um, there is the home button, uh, which is like the, the dashboard area, and then we have the other one, which is devices, which is here to go to, and then that shows that, as you can see, between the screen and the phone, as of test, we've actually got it set to be at 17.5 um, degrees. You can see on the phone where the setting is, and it's actually updated the radiator by itself. Right, so here with the smart app, we can actually uh, use the phone to change the temperature. Um, we'll just bring that down a little bit uh, as it's a bit of a test. The uh, temperature will change on the LCD screen to actually show that the radiator is working itself down. And then here as we speak, the radiator has literally in real time just um, turned itself down uh, in temperature wise. Here we have the option of setting a program uh, for the radiator. If we use the pencil for the edit sign, that will take us through to where there are the choices of different programs. There are lots of preset programs that are already here. If we use the programming wizard, uh, which is this button here, and there we go, and then there are a number of choices that can be done. So there's program one, program two, and so forth and all the other programs then there is the option to do a copy and paste so when you've got one day particularly sorted out you can copy it and then paste it into other different days um, so there are loads of choices and lots of um, different ways in which you can actually program the radiator either you know individually or as part of the central heating system right, here we are with the programming session we've done program two um, we've set the start time, end time, uh, and the other hours of the day when the um, radiator will come on. If we click down here on the bottom, which is the copy and paste, you can then actually um, tick box and actually copy and paste all the programming information into uh, the different days. Um, and then you can edit that again if you want to, to make sure that it's different. Uh, it's important to note that the more accurate you are with your programming, um, the more money that you're going to save on the overall electricity bill. Right, here we have uh, the smart app uh, on the phone uh, for controlling the devices. Alternatively though, um, over here we have the web-based application which offers more control. Um, you can start by setting up the house as an individual, which is where we've got, same as what's on the smartphone. Um, if you are a non-domestic customer and you have multiple rooms, um, you can actually use this button for areas 
to actually um, geographically be in different places. You can have up to a thousand radiators on the system and you can actually uh, keep an eye on them um, you know, 24 hours a day really and then you can actually set up the individual devices by using this tab over here. If you have any difficulties at all there is a tutorial on the web based app and then also you can go to the energy savings assistant uh, which will give you uh, more information. Uh, before I go there just down the side down here um, is all the information you might want for the news feed and so forth for uh, the different areas that you'll be using and then we can go to the energy saving system which will then actually help you check your installation to make sure that everything is working as well as it possibly can.